Hey, Tom Donnie here, Fort Dodge, Iowa. Want to talk today about velocity stacks. Here we've got a Monte Carlo engine with triple carbs on a three cylinder Saab two stroke. And this has velocity stacks that we're making and get one to pop off here. They're just held on with a clamp. And these stacks, which you can do, a lot of guys are running without an air cleaner when they're racing and playing, whatever. And uh, design these stacks to give us pretty good performance to to increase uh, horsepower and torque with the air cleaner off. Um, if you run with these versus an air cleaner, you'll really blow away the horsepower, gain a whole lot. We'll look at the dyno results in a second. But again, these are real simple. They, they have a recessed flange in here that goes right over the top of any of your triple carb hose clamp to tighten up. Um, real simple application, and I have them in five different lengths. If we look over here, here's one that's stacked up with the different lengths. And if you remember a Saab exhaust manifold, it actually has three different length runners on the exhaust manifold itself. And the reason Saab does that is for improved range through RPMs of your torque and your horsepower. Um, you know, if they wanted to have a very narrow power band, Saab would make all three exhaust manifolds the exact same length, but they don't. They make them staggered length. So you can actually accomplish the same type of thing here on the intake side. You can go with a long, a medium, and a short to change the RPM band or the area that these are going to perform best in. Pretty much you'll have to do it based on your individual engine and your exhaust chamber. That's going to determine what ratio will work best for you because there's a wide range of what you can get um, with the different stacks based on your exhaust uh, chamber or your front muffler if you want to call it that and then your uh, porting of your engine which would really be the duration of your intake in your exhaust that's really what we're looking at duration of intake exhaust versus with our expansion chamber and then of course our intake length the length of the intake track determines how much horsepower and torque we have as a general rule the longer you get the lower your torque will become come in a, a lower rpm the shorter the higher RPM it'll come in and of course this gives it a blend and I've made these in five different sizes now and then you can mix and match do whatever you want find out what works best for you um, and it really becomes a personal preference based on what kind of track or what kind of driving conditions you have and then like I've said before it'll really be dependent upon what combination is best for your exhaust pipe and your um, intake exhaust durations, which are your porting on your motor. We're going to pop over here once and take a look at some dyno results. <clears throat> nice popping, Patty. Just kidding. Um, here's the three different results we have. The line in red, or the bottom line, shows with an air cleaner on. Then the, the green line shows with the air cleaner removed. And then the blue line is with our short 10, 10 millimeter stacks. So the same length stacks is our top line, our blue line. And you can see uh, here in horsepower, if we get looking at uh, horsepowers in red here, um, 22 and 34, the numbers, I don't know if you can see those or not. But so this is probably roughly around 28 horse. And here we're sitting at 34 horse. So there's, that's a big difference on a uh, 46 horsepower motor or 52 horse, what this engine probably is closer to. Um, that's a big difference in power. And you can see just the spread all the way across the, the board, what you have. And again, if you change your different length of your stack, then where these peak RPMs come in, you're going to move that downstream or upstream, depending upon whether you're going longer or shorter. And, uh, but again, the red line or the, top, uh, the bottom line here, this red, that's with an air cleaner on. All I did is take the air cleaner off. I had to rejet because it was much, much leaner. Had to go about three jet sizes, I think, uh, with no air cleaner to get it to the, uh, to the green line. And then, of course, the blue line, which is our, our bottom line on the, here on the computer, but top here on the chart, um, that's with our, with our new velocity stacks. And the velocity stack, it's just, you know, it's designed to make air more efficient coming into the carburetor. I kind of learned this at Bonneville that, uh, I was able to gain, I would say probably picked up a three to, horse, three to four horsepower gain by playing with velocity stacks. And I was able to also move my RPM range much higher for peak horsepower, uh, which is what I need at Bonneville. I need no torque. 
Um, so that's kind of where I got playing with velocity stacks and saw what it could do. And that ultimately led to uh, the development of these stacks. So uh, we'll be offering them for sale and uh, should be able to make your little sob run a little faster. And again, it's track dependent and obviously dependent upon, as I've said, the exhaust chamber you're using and your duration or your porting on your engine. And that's only you're going to be able to decide that unless you've got an in-house dyno like I do where you can play and set it up. And obviously most people don't have that. So here's a close-up look of these stacks. And they're uh, made on a CNC machine and finely polished, highly polished, I should say. And then this is, a, I call them a frog tog, but uh, they're just a cover that goes over the top of the air cleaner. Obviously this one doesn't fit this size, but uh, I've got special ones coming that'll fit. And they fit really tight over the top and that keeps your bugs and debris and all that other kind of crap out if you're running. Um, just one thing to keep in mind, doesn't matter what you run for an air cleaner, it will always decrease horsepower, period. Um, here I was showing uh, on the video before we were talking about the horsepower. Torque is the bottom line here. And you can see that on the torque end, we, we talked about the horsepower comparison and how much horsepower you gain, but you can look at that torque spread you have here. Torque is in blue. So we've got where it starts here, at, it starts here at 3200 RPMs or 3024 RPMs. We're gaining um, quite a bit of torque right from the get-go. We're about seven more foot-pounds of torque from 53 to 60. And again, the blue is our torque. And then you can see it get wider right there. And uh, that's pretty substantial. I mean, even more so than horsepower. Obviously, torque gets you moving, horsepower keeps you going. Or as they say, uh, horsepower is how hard you hit the wall, torque is how far through the wall you go. So, um, but when you figure the bottom, the bottom set of lines here are torque, the top set are horsepower, and then you can see our red is, is horsepower, so we're starting at 34 on the top line there, and you know, probably about 26 with no air cleaner. And you can see it's kind of cool how the uh, no air cleaner and the stacks are even right there at the start, and then they spread right apart. But um, that gives you a quick idea of what things look like. See if I can get the RPMs in there so you can zoom in on it. But anyway, again, this is Tom Donnie, Fort Dodge, signing off.